you're an NPC. When you approach women, it's like watching a baby beg for their mother's attention. Please acknowledge me. When women ignore you, you're delusional enough to think she's playing hard to get? And then you wonder why she doesn't like you when you barely even like yourself. It's 2016 and I'm going to college for the first time and I'm super excited. I'm the first person in my family to ever go to college. So all my exposure to the college lifestyle is just a bunch of white coming of age movies like American Pie and silly shit like that. So I'm eager to meet new girls, have a bunch of crazy sex, <laughs> try different drugs out, all this naive, silly kid shit. And about a week into the semester, I find myself in a computer science class surrounded by a bunch of people I, of course, don't know. But to my right is this pretty, pretty girl. She's not like a 10 out of 10, but she's very, very attractive, especially for somebody like me at that time. So I decided to have some generic, like freshman small talk, like, oh, where you're from? What's your major? Like shit like that, that nobody really cares about. <laughs> and after a while, I noticed there's a little bit of chemistry. She's giving me some type of feedback. So you know what? I'm a freshman. This is a whole new environment for me. I'm going to make a move for the first time in my life. I'm seriously thinking about making a move. So I asked for her Instagram. And then she actually gives me her Instagram, which kind of shocked me because I'm so used to having to like type a girl's name on Instagram or go through like a mutual friend, like follow list and be like, oh shit, what are the odds? Instagram actually recommended me to you. When in reality, no, I was fucking looking for you <laughs> like a weirdo creep. Then later on in the day when I get home, I go to my messages and I send her a DM. Something simple like, hey, how was the rest of your day? Like regular shit like that. And I'm like constantly refreshing my page. Like, oh, did she respond yet? Did she respond yet? Did she respond yet? After a couple hours, I noticed still no response. <laughs> I'm like, eh, that's kind of weird. But hey, maybe she's busy. I remember her telling me that she has like pretty strict parents. So she might be doing chores or something like that. No big deal. I, I'm, not, I'm not really sweating it yet. Then the next day comes. Still no response. <laughs> and now I'm trying to like convince myself that nothing's wrong. I'm like, hey, maybe she's not really into social media, which is a good thing. I'm like, hey, maybe I got one of those girls. You know, like she logs on when she logs on, but for the most part, she's just not really into it. That's why I tell myself in my head. Then the third day comes, and this is where things get weird. Because she still has a response to my message, but I notice she has a new post on her story. I'm like, what the fuck? You have time to post on your story, but you can't respond to my simple DM. <laughs> I click on her story. Guess what she's doing? She's out with all her friends fucking smoking hookah. <laughs> like a typical city girl bullshit. I was so mad, bro. I was so fucking furious. I felt disrespected. I'm like, this girl has time to hang out with her, her thotty friends and smoke hookah, but she can't respond to a single fucking DM? Are you serious? So, in a moment of weakness, I decide, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna send another DM. <laughs> so I'm double texting now, I sent her a simple, yo, question mark, like, yo, like, what the fuck, what's going on, are you gonna respond or not? That's, that's what that simple yo means. <laughs> and of course, no fucking response, like, are we surprised? I'm not. So I'm just furious, I'm like, why did you even give me your Instagram if you're not gonna respond to my messages? This is bullshit, like, why are you ignoring me? That's what I'm thinking. Then, finally, the day before our next computer science class where I have to sit next to her, she finally responds to my message. You won't believe what her response was. Hey, sorry, I just noticed these. I think something's wrong with my Instagram, LOL. Did you do the homework for class? After a week of no response, just ignoring my DMs, she finally responds to me, asking for the homework. And do you know what my response was? Yep, here it is. I said the fucking homework after being disrespected for a whole week, a whole week of her fucking ignoring me. I just said the homework anyway, like, uh, whatever, right? Because at this point, I'm just hoping that she gives me a chance. Of course, she never gave me a chance. Girls like this will never give you a chance. Not when you're acting the way you're acting. Not when you're acting like an NPC, acting how I was acting. You see, there are two types of guys who react in certain ways when they're being ignored. 
me back then when I was an NPC, I was the guy who would just accept defeat. Like, oh, I guess he's just ignoring me. Whatever. Hey, when you give me, a, when you get a chance, can you give me some attention? <laughs> That's that was me back in the day. Like, I was just, I was just a fucking baby, just hoping that you acknowledge me. And then there's the other guys who just get angry and really violent. Like, hey, like my favorite line that guys say when a girl annoys them is, "You're fucking ugly anyway." <laughs> That shit is crazy because you're trying to get a girl's attention because you find her attractive and then she curves you and you're like, you know what? You're fucking ugly anyway. <laughs> so, so nonsense. But those are the two type of responses most guys, especially fucking NPC guys who just live life in the background. These are their responses. Us, we're better than that. As somebody who is trying to be a Chad, there are certain things that you need to do when a woman ignores you. There's a certain protocol that you need to follow. And if you follow some of these tactics I'm about to lay out for you right now, you will see a big difference in a woman's reaction when she notices that, wait a minute, I ignored him and he's doing this now? Number one, don't ask why. When a woman ignores you, don't ever ask why, what happened? Do I do something wrong, etc. Shit like that is weird, desperate, it makes you seem needy and attention seeking. Like. You're not a baby, bro. <laughs> Don't ask why. <laughs> she doesn't give a fuck. If she doesn't care enough to respond to you, she doesn't care enough to even give you a reason why she's not responding. And you just putting her on the spot just makes you seem like a weirdo creep. And I know in reality that doesn't make sense to you, but in her eyes, she doesn't need to give you a fucking reason. And when you ask why, best believe she's gonna give you some bullshit reason why. She's gonna probably lie to you and say, hey, I was busy doing this, blah, blah, blah. And the next thing you know, she's in her group chat telling all her friends, oh my God, this guy won't get off my dick. Oh, Jesus, you don't need a reason why. So don't ever ask why when a woman ignores you, bro. Number two, don't stalk her. Yeah, bro, you're, you're acting like a stalker right now. Stop watching her Instagram story. Stop looking at her Snapchat location. Stop leaving passive aggressive comments under her Instagram. This is weird though shit that makes you look crazy. <laughs> I know in your head, cause I've been there. In my head, I felt like, nah, I'm the rational person and she's being a fucking asshole for ignoring me. But in reality, to everybody else, her narrative is the one that matters. So if she thinks you're a fucking creep, then you're a fucking creep. Maybe you can unfollow her. I would never say block her. I think that's dramatic. A lot of guys do that. I think that's really feminine. That's not a masculine trait, just blocking people because you're emotional. Maybe unfollow, maybe. At least if she unfollows you first, then unfollow. But don't stalk her shit, bro. Just stop being a weirdo. Just let it go. Stop stalking her. You don't need to find out wherever she is. All you need to know is that she doesn't give a fuck about what you're doing right now. So you have no reason to be stalking her. And I get it, it's frustrating when she says, oh, I'm busy on Friday, sorry, I can't, I have church. And then you check her Instagram story and she's at a fucking bar getting tequila shots poured into her mouth. Like, yeah, okay, just tell me the truth. But don't worry about it, bro. You don't need to know the truth sometimes. Sometimes the lie is better for your soul, at least. So when she ignores you, just, just accept it. She doesn't need a reason why and you, you definitely don't need to find out why. Number three, don't throw subs. Like so many guys are so fucking soft these days. I don't know if it's because like Juice Word or XXXTentacion or rappers like that, but niggas are so soft. Like people are so quick to hop on Instagram story with the black background and white text. That's like fucking, fucking people these days always switch up on me. You <laughs> some lame shit like that. Like bro, get out your fucking feelings. Stop subbing chicks especially. If you're subbing a girl on your Instagram, you couldn't be more feminine. And she knows that and all her friends know that. So when they see that sub, they think, oh wow, what a bitch. <laughs> what a soft ass nigga subbing me on his Instagram. You're better than that, bro. That is not Chad behavior. And I always look down on guys when I hop on that Instagram story and I see them throwing subs at somebody. Like I see rappers do this all the time and it's fucking gross, bro. Stop doing that. You're not masculine if you're throwing subs on your Instagram. Instagram, especially at another female, so cut it out. Number four, when she ignores you, move on, bro. Like seriously, I don't care if this is in the DMs or in real fucking life. When a girl curves you and just shows no interest whatsoever and just shut down all your attempts, move on. 
Take that L on the chin and keep it pushing, bro. That shit is not worth it. You're gonna look weird, you're gonna look crazy, you're gonna look like a creep. None of these are Chad characteristics that you want. So just move on. Don't be the guy that's like, bitch, you're ugly anyway, or fuck, you think you're all that? Fuck that, your hair is fucking weird, blah, blah, blah. Like, these niggas are the goofiest, I swear to God. Go to any fucking bar or club on a fucking Friday or Saturday night between the time of like 1 and 3 o'clock in the morning, you'll see these guys throwing fucking temper tantrums, I swear to God. Temper tantrums at grown-ass women because she curved them. Bro, just accept it, because now you can't have any girl in this environment. Because all of them knows you're fucking weird though. <laughs> so please don't get aggressive. Don't be angry. Just take the L on the chin and move on. Bro, by the way, it is crucial to level up and unlock your true potential in life. Dating can be tough, but remember bro, we're here to empower you. So allow me to personally invite you to become a member of our exclusive community, the Chad Munity. So click the top link in the description to watch our welcome video after you finish this video. We're in this together and together we will conquer the Dayton battlefield and get those legendary Chad results that we deserve. Stay tuned because it's time to achieve our full potential bro. Number five, and this is easily the most important thing to do when a woman ignores you, give her a reason to acknowledge you. And don't misinterpret what I'm saying because so many guys think like, oh, I guess I have to dick ride her and constantly be in her DMs and constantly liking all her pictures and constantly responding to her stories for her to acknowledge me. No. Do you know what you need to do for her to acknowledge you? Stop acknowledging her. Get on the path of self-improvement. I say this in pretty much all of my videos and this is the core message of my channel. Get on the path of self-improvement and she will acknowledge you. Improving on yourself, reaching your full potential, becoming a Chad, this will get you the attention of any woman you want, bro. Once they see that you're on the path of righteousness, you're on the path of becoming your best self, and that you're fucking squashing all your competition because everybody else that you're competing with is sitting on their couch smoking weed, watching beer, and looking at fucking YouTube videos all day, you're better than them. You're working out, you're meditating, you're journaling. You're watching videos that actually teach you how to be a better person. Once women notice that this guy actually has a future and potential going for him, they will want you, including the ones that fucking ignored you before. And here's the funny part. Once they acknowledge you, you probably won't even want them anymore. <laughs> That's fucking old news at this point. This whole new horizon is awaiting. You don't give a fuck about this girl anymore. You have bigger fish to fry. There's a great interview of Michael B. Jordan being interviewed by some chick he used to go to high school with. And he realizes, oh wait, I used to go to high school with her. And his reaction is fucking priceless. We go way back all the way to Chad Science in Newark, okay? What a corny kid, right? <laughs> no, I did not say that, misquoted for sure. No, you did not hear me say, I said we used to make fun of the name, but yeah, he is obviously killing things out here. This clip is a prime example of somebody who went on self-improvement and is now a better person than he was before. Because that girl, when they was in high school, they was calling him fucking corny. They thought he was an NPC, some lame ass nigga. Now he's a Chad. He's that guy. He commands attention when he walks into the room. And people know that now. And she came calling back trying to get a fucking interview out of him. And he doesn't want that shit. Fuck out of here, bro. I don't want this attention now because I'm better. You should have gave me this before. And that's the mentality you need to have. When these women who ignored you come crawling back, fuck out of here. I don't need this anymore. I'm better than I was before and you don't deserve this. So be a Chad. Be the guy that people are forced to acknowledge because your presence is undeniable. And don't forget, when you was a kid, Chad took your lunch. Now as a man, he takes your bitch. I'll see you in the next video.